Opponents of the $3.6 billion Columbia River Crossing light rail project are still determined to stop it. A group calling itself the Smarter Bridge Committee hosted a tour in Vancouver Saturday to highlight alternatives they say are more affordable for easing congestion on Interstate 5. This tour is all about uh, educating people. and We're trying to help people to understand that this Columbia River Crossing is a bloated project, that it's uh, one that we can't afford, uh, and that there are far better alternatives that cost less, that uh, serve us better, really. In its current design, the CRC will replace the historic interstate bridge with two larger spans, bring light rail to Vancouver, and reconstruct six highway interchanges during eight years of construction. The Smarter Bridge Committee believes increasing capacity on the bridge will only worsen bottlenecks farther south on I-5 in Portland. They want to preserve the current interstate bridge and instead build supplemental highway, transit, or rail bridges to divert traffic from I-5. Floyd Smith represents the Association of Oregon Rail and Transit Advocates. We recognize the need to relieve congestion and to move freight and to move uh, people uh, across the river. We just know there are better ways. Um, nobody's denying uh, from the standpoint of the Smarter Bridge Committee that we need to induce uh, business uh, travel here and, and passenger travel. Um, it's just how are you best, most efficiently going to do it. From my perspective, one way to do it is to get people on trains and rail because that's where the efficiencies are. Event organizer Sharon Nassett would like to see a new highway bypass running from West Vancouver to North Portland and Highway 30 to the west. She feels her third bridge concept as well as other sensible options were never fully studied by CRC planners. A range of alternatives was not thoroughly studied and that is what would be the best for our economic uh, future. And so we are insisting that now that they have their study complete, that does not mean it should be developed and other alternatives can be looked at. CRC Director Nancy Boyd, who attended the tour, was encouraged by the group's enthusiasm but says many of their ideas were considered and ultimately rejected early in CRC planning. I do think it's um a little misguided in that, um, you know, I, you know, I, I love to see all the energy, um, but that's we've gone through that as part of our public process, and um, now it's time to take what we've, what has gone through this public process and refine it into a project that will be built in the next few years. Other guests came away supportive of the presentations and hope that the work of the Smarter Bridge Committee will continue to spread the word to the public and elected officials that the CRC is not a done deal. Hopefully we'll get to where we the people get to speak and it's just not decided by someone who thinks they know better.